welcome to communication engineering playlist here in this session i'll be going to discuss amplitude demodulation by envelope detector so this session is about amplitude detection by envelope detector now see in amplitude demodulation what we do is we have amplitude modulated signal and we will be passing it through detector or demodulator circuit and we will be extracting original information so that is what the basic purpose which is there with amplitude demodulation or amplitude detector so here we will be going to do this amplitude demodulation by envelope detector and this is the basic circuit which is there with envelope detector now see this circuit is very simple here what we do is we have am signal over here and in that series with to this am wave we connect rs resistance and then there is this diode this diode is acting as a rectifier so this diode circuit that is what acting like rectifier and then after that circuit is followed with rc filter and after having rc filtration you will be getting amplitude demodulated signal now see how it will be going to provide amplitude demodulated signal like see as i have told you told you you will be having am signal as input now when this am signal as input is passing through this diode it will be clipping all the negative half cycles the reason is diode can turn on during when it is in forward bias and it will be in forward bias during positive half cycles only during negative half cycles it will be in reverse bias so there will be no output now whatever output that is there after passing it through diode now that will be having this rc filtration where there will be a process of charging of capacitor and discharging of capacitor so that charging of capacitor that will happen through this resistance rs and this diode so charging that will happen in this loop this is what loop of charging of capacitor and discharging of capacitor this charging will happen like this plus minus right and discharging of capacitor that will happen in this loop this is what discharging of capacitor c so ultimately charging of capacitor in this envelope detector that happens through diode and rs resistance and discharging of this capacitor that will happen in this loop via this rc combination now before i explain how we, how, how to select this components first let us try to understand what happens with respect to waveform now see as i have told you we have am signal here we pass it through this diode this diode is acting like rectifier so in rectifier what happens negative half, half cycle that will be getting clipped so here we have this am signal right so that is like this and once you pass it through this diode as a rectifier circuit you will be finding this much output that is getting clipped so you don't have that output after passing it through that rectifier circuit so only this much output will be there now there is this connection of rc so because of rc connection what will happen is this capacitor will get charged in this loop and it will discharge in this loop so what happens is when this voltage of carrier signal that is positively increasing that voltage is getting increasing positively that capacitor will get charged and when that voltage is getting fall that capacitor will get discharged like see how it will happen see here as voltage is increasing this capacitor will get charged up to this 
you can see here capacitor is charging so i am just showing the, by this blue line capacitor is getting charge and by this black color i am showing capacitor is getting discharge so capacitor will get discharge up to this now again this voltage is greater so now again capacitor will get charge from here to here and again voltage is getting fall so capacitor will get discharge like this and this is what keeps on repeating here voltage is positive so capacitor is getting charge and from here capacitor is getting discharge so this is how things are happening and you will be finding you are extracting information so capacitor charging and discharging that is creating envelope and this is what envelope detector so that is how capacitor is getting charge and discharge one can see here so ultimately when voltage is positively increasing capacitor will get charge and that voltage when it is falling at the time capacitor will get discharge so that is how it will charge and discharge and it is what creating this envelope that's why it is called as envelope detector now see first i'll explain you how things are happening inside and how to select components so see as i have told you charging of this capacitor that is what happening via this resistance r and diode d so it is obvious like see here this is what carrier frequency this is carrier frequency so ultimately charging time period that will justify rc time constant that should be <coughs> charging time period will justify rc time constant that will be with respect to rs and capacitance c so during charging rsc time constant is important <coughs> during charging rsc time constant is important and that rsc time constant that should be very lower than 1 by carrier frequency <coughs> why the reason is if it is greater than this 1 by carrier frequency time period then it will take more time to get charge so if it is not if it is taking more time to get charge then this envelope will not get created properly and during discharging time period during discharging time period this capacitor is getting discharged via this rc network this component so during discharging rc component that is important and discharging time period should be very large discharging time period that should be very large so this rc that should be very greater than 1 by fc so if discharging time period is large like see charging is very fast discharging period is very large right so that will be the basic need which is there with this component selection right and one more thing that should be clear to all like see maximum modulating frequency that is even very important so if we have maximum modulating frequency then 1 by fm that is what even we need to consider in account like say if 1 by fm that will be the time period it should be greater than this rc and this rc should be greater than 1 by fc that is what carrier frequency so that is how we should select such component of r series resistance then r and c that is what we need to select based on this condition now see there are few problems which is happening during envelope detection so there are basically two problems which is happening during envelope detection one is diagonal clipping one is diagonal clipping 
so what is diagonal clipping like see here what we do is here this is what the actual information that is happening like this right and in diagonal clipping if actual information is happening like this but sometimes because of this charging and discharging sometimes without diagonal clipping you will be finding information is happening like this right so that will happen sometimes so this is what diagonal clipping like see information should be like this but because of this charging and discharging time period which is not exactly happening with this trajectory there will be somewhat diagonal clipping that will happen right second problem which is associated with this envelope detector that is negative cycle clipping like see if i say my actual information is like this right if my actual information is like this in that case practically this will happen negative cycle that will get clipped right so this is what our output where you'll be finding this is getting clipped so negative cycle clipping will happen so negative cycle clipping as well as diagonal clipping that will happen which is what resulting into distortion in am detection by envelope detector so this is what all about envelope detector i hope that this is helpful to you again let us have quick revision of this topic envelope detector is actually demodulating signal so you'll be having original information from am signal by envelope detector it is having two parts one is rectifier and one is low pass filter this rc circuit that is functioning as a low pass filter and this diode is acting as a rectifier now here there are three components only rs capacitor and resistor and this is what rectifier circuit this capacitor will get charged via this path via this rs resistance and this diode this capacitor will get discharged via this path through this rc so this diode will clip negative part of that am signal so this part will get clip because of this rectifier diode and that charging operation that will happen through r s series resistance and c and discharging that happens through this rc so during charging rsc that is what the time constant and during discharging time constant is rc so discharging should charging should be very fast and discharging should be very slow so if charging should be very fast then rc rsc that should be 1 by fc frequency time period right so 1 by fc means time period of one cycle for that carrier signal and to get slower discharging of our via rc you should select this rc value should be very greater than 1 by fc so that is how we should select component rsc and resistance r there are basically two problems which is happening that creates distortion of reception of original signal one problem is diagonal clipping and second problem is negative cycle clipping in diagonal clipping you will be finding information is not extracted properly because of this envelope so this kind of issue is generated and second problem is negative cycle clipping where negative half cycle cannot be detected as the original signal by using envelope detector so these are the issues and that is how we use envelope detector to detect original information from am signal thank you so much for watching this video please give your valuable suggestions regarding what is required here based on communication engineering if i have understanding based on your need definitely i will place videos to sort out all those queries thank you so much for watching this video